the superchargers. So we're at the baker in Tito. Uh, we've got some friendly staff. We've got the meat man in the back there. He's got the, the man with the meat in the back. <laughs> Carlos has got some meat too. Clean and it's doing well, the bank is good, is it? <laughs> the bank's full. The bank is full. We'll still do our bit as well. We've just had new suppressors fitted to all of our weapons, so we're going to see how they run. So it's Kiwi versus Swedish versus Dane. The Danish. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how we go. The, the Movember became November. And um, <laughs> Clee must be doing better than me. Because he's, he's outside of the Movember period. Well, he hasn't I've had, had the word though. He hasn't had kids I've for had a couple of years, so. <laughs> Clee's going to get shut down soon. That's why he's going bush. So that's, that's my first group of the Hornady. I don't know quite exactly what, but Hornady something. And those are the white ones. The white boys. I don't know, that looks, that looks like it's quite promising, they but I, don't, like I actually have no idea what that load was. So. Yeah, that's a real problem. That's a real problem. And the Highland, not so good. The Highland looked like it was a bit more of the shotgun sort of thing going on here. So maybe, so maybe we have to leave the Highland at home. <laughs> That'd be one and a half clicks. Um, so one up. you're talking MOA here, so yeah. for your scope it'll probably be um, four clicks will be one inch. Okay, yeah. So you'll probably want to go six clicks left yeah. and four clicks up. Mm. And then that'll find your sweet spot, I think. Okay. Slightly bigger. Those Slide them across to the right a little bit more. And uh, we'll be happy days. <laughs> Identical, almost within 100 grams of each other. Okay, Dingo. Oh, no, we really got to put this on here too, though, because otherwise, yeah. You got to have the full strap on. Got to get it. <laughs> the F down, the ferry down. Holy shit. How are we looking? 26.4. Oh. You're five kilos heavy there, mate. Yeah, so we're at the, the Heli Seeker. HQ um, at the foot of the Kaimanawas, so we're about to walk on in towards Omaru Hut and we've got about a four hour walk in there and then we're going to push on a little bit further and do some uh, some fly camping hopefully we'll get out for a walk tonight walk and stalk tonight and yeah come out on come out on Monday so we'll see what we can find but Seeker are the, the target um, along with a couple of rainbow trout and yeah we'll, we'll see what we can get so we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you in there. All right, hey, Ray. I'm oh, still on the Paranoi Access route on track to Amaru Hut. We are. About a quarter of the way there now. We sure are. They're uh, making good pace too, I think. Yeah. Making good time. So, uh, Fairly warm day, 20 plus degrees, isn't it? Yeah, must be up around there. Up here. There are the boys. Uh, at Awamaru Hut after walking in through the Poronui station and um, yeah we made some really good time hey Clee yeah three hours three hours so pretty happy with the fitness work the fitness work's been paying off this is the backdrop anyway fairly spectacular place 
beautiful. Pretty hot day too, to be walking in under load. It's February the 8th, so you can hear the cicadas. A bit of sound there. What oh, smells beautiful, smoky. Oh, she's a nice hole of that though. Hey? Not that old. Well stocked up. We've got all of your supplies up the top here. All your bits and pieces. Got a nice wee fireplace down there. Cooktop. Got your pots and pans by the look of things. Gas. All your bits and pieces. Beautiful little uh, little hut. There's plenty of gas up the top there as well. So if you do happen to forget your primus. Looks like there's plenty of uh, plenty of stuff there. Bunks, bunk beds. So it sleeps two, four, six in here. Six in here. Um, this is the other bunk room. Two, four, six. So yeah, sleeps a total of twelve. Gee, it's in a stunning area. It's a really nice spot up here. Good facilities, Clee. Yeah, that is it. Clee's getting the stretch on. Yeah. Gotta stay limber. Deal with? No? Right. You got the odd issue with a bit of length? Yeah. Okay. Just couldn't, yeah. Hit the elevation, you can see everything, but no, just nothing. Nothing came out. Oh, I've had a little walk around anyway, eh? I'll put an explore. How far up the river did you get? Uh, probably about a click and a half. Mm. Yeah, not too sure what's going on with this candle, but. It's um, she's pretty hooky. Oh, it's on time lapse. Oh, oh, he's got him! Got him! Yes! All right, I had to get wet, do I? <laughs> the coffee brewer. We've of course got the condensed milk. That is an essential item. We've got our brown sugar there. I think Bags is on the brew as well. Two brews. I'm probably only about 40 metres away. And I heard a noise. I looked up and I could see basically the back half of the seeker. I was trying to get an angle on the front couldn't, wasn't moving, so I, would, I didn't fire, but yeah, it was only 40 metres away, and um, broadside, but I couldn't see the shoulders, I couldn't see the head, I couldn't see the antlers, anything, uh, it was a stag though, so I could see the pizzle on it, um, so yeah, we've had an opportunity, but um, just didn't quite present the right profile. I sort of heard this clambering of feet up on the uh, terrace above me. And I was like, oh, hello. So I thought, oh, I'll go and check it out. Shot up there, couldn't see anything. Then on the second scan, I saw a seat behind. Standing behind a bit of a thicket of um, thin bush. And so um, I had a crack at it freestanding shot. However, 
I can't find Sid Seeker. And I've been looking for about 45 minutes. Fired the shot at the deer. And um, yeah, it spun around and ran about 20 metres and then went down a ledge. I lost sight of it. Um, it could have bloody gone anywhere. Yeah, so that's a bit gutting. You need some pasta on the go. Uh, she's not quite here, bud. We've got the Chase and Gather special on the go. We've got the Graham's Tawny Port. How did we go today, Bags? Mm. We had a wee bit of luck today, mate. She was a um, she was a good day. Getting that first seeker. She's been a long time coming. So I'm pretty happy to have now a little spiker. Seeker started squealing at me, so shut the bolt, come up over the rise. A little bugger saw me and took off, so I started whistling back at him, you know, the whoosh, whoosh, sort of noise. And the silly bugger come back round, popped his head up, and all I could see is his head, so I was on three times, about probably about 40 metres, so it wasn't huge, a huge target, but you know, the dingo knocks the Highland bloody 308 ammo, but the Highland 308 ammo did the business. going. Pretty good for the old Highland. Small wee beast, but there she is. Beautiful. Nice hide too. I might keep that. Um, shot him a couple of minutes ago, so time I let him cool, but yeah, hey, pretty happy with this shot. Straight through the straight through the neck. Yeah, it's good. That's my first seeker. Um, plenty of fellow and reds, but this has been a long time coming. A lot of trips to, to get this little guy. Hey, look, I'll dress him. We'll get him back to camp. The day's still pretty young, so there's every chance I might catch a trout. Anyway, over and out. And um, been out for a morning stalk for a seeker. Saw a seeker, but didn't quite get onto it in time. Uh, I'm going to go for a fly fish now. So, got herself set up here, running a very small pheasant tail nymph. Running a very small nymph there with a little bit of flash on it, size 16 running a dry fly a bit of elk here, or a bit of deer fur on top of it that's going to be the indicator and um, we'll see how we go Caught him on the pheasant tail, which I tied at home. So pretty stoked. Beautiful fish. So we've got the hook right in the corner of the mouth there. Colours on it. Yeah, we'll go and try and maybe catch catch one more, and then head back to camp and try and head out for a seeker. For an evening stalk. Okay, well, finished up with the fishing for today. Just out for about an hour and a half. Caught two fish. Kept one of them, we only need one tonight to feed the three of us. Bit of camp dinner for you, eh? Oh, it beats freeze dry. Bit of, um, bit of manuka under that and happy days, isn't it? Sure, that looks good. Beauty. Got dinner sorted. What have we got? Eel, rainbow trout, seeker meat. You've got the heart as well, eh? 
and then we're about to shoot off for another uh, evening seeker stalk now so have a quick cuffer and jump back into the bush with the boomsticks Gee, we've got a beautiful country far out. Wow, that is stunning. Maddie here. So I've just spent the afternoon hunting this sort of the same area that Carlos um, bagged his first seeker in this morning. Beautiful country. Um, I'm just walking back along the, the top of a ridge right now, um, which you see is very nice and open. And unfortunately haven't really seen anything, no spooks, nothing this afternoon so just boosting it back down the ridge now and um, looking to get into position down by the river and hopefully knock something over this evening all going well. Alright, see you later. Set up, I imagine that, but if it hops nine on there, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> you better go catch another fish. Number nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a full out of the crate. Done. That is warm. Not on board now. Right. Here we go. Beautiful meat. <clears throat> Bit of tenderness. Carlos there, he's landed his first seeker, so a great achievement for him. We've come across quite a number of animals. How many animals did we see? Seven. About seven in total between the three of us, and we probably spooked or put up around about 12 or 14. So there's animals in the area, um, but yeah, just as I've said on those previous clips, it is extremely noisy underfoot in there. There's been no wind, um, everything is dry, and it is hard to get around quietly. We've had a few delicacies last night. We had a, uh, it was almost like a degustation, wasn't it? <laughs> it's not for an ice cream. And look at this for a double. That's a good bad boy. Yeah. That's that's a that's a good ice cream. It's the size of your face, isn't it? Oh, no, really? it's just, it's, uh, right, we'll back in the, the baker and Tito. And we're we're topping up. What are you having, Dad? Oh coffee, a pie and water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fresh water, what's that? 